Okay, so this is going to go for all Samsung Galaxy phones. Basically, you are trying to update your phone. And let me go down here and click on About Devices. And if you click on Software Update, you get this message that pops up that says your device has been modified. Software updates are not available. Well, if you click on your status here, and if you look on the very bottom here, it says uh, device status. If it says custom, basically your phone is rooted, okay? So what you need to do in order to update your software is you need to download uh, Samsung Key software in your computer. So go ahead and download this. I'll put a link uh, below in the description where you can download this. If you have a Mac OS, you simply just click on here. And if you have a Windows, if you have a Samsung Galaxy 4 prior, you want to click on here. If you have um, a, a Note 3 and above with uh, Android 4.3 or higher, then you want to click here. For instance, this is a Samsung Galaxy S4 here. So I had to go and download the older uh, keys version, okay? So I already downloaded it. So what I'm going to do now is connect my phone to my computer here. All right, you have to make sure that debugging mode is on as well. And then it says here, allow debugging. I'm going to click on OK. Debugging basically just so that you can connect uh, to your keys here, okay? Give this a second here. Okay, and this message will pop up. There's a newer version of software is available. And I'm going to click on Next. Now, this is very important that you read this here, okay? It says, before updating, a rooted device may cause updates to fail, unstable mobile phone operation, and or other problems. Of course, it is recommended to use the official Samsung USB cable, which I am not using. And take note, I'm not responsible for anything happens to your phone, okay, guys? So do everything at your own risk. Also says here... Uh, Please fully charge the battery of the mobile device. Well, mine's only at 24%. I'm going to take my chances, okay? Uh, and then it says here, uh, please back up your data. Data that has not been backed up may be deleted. So if you guys have anything important on here, you may want to back it up just in case, okay? And of course, when you're updating, you don't want to open up any menus uh, by pressing any buttons. Uh, you don't want to connect any other devices to your computer as this is updating as well, okay? And of course, you know, do not disconnect this cable while the update, until the update is complete, okay? So leave everything as is. So I'm going to go ahead and click on update down here. And I'm going to go ahead and set my phone right here while it's plugged in. And it says here, uh, preparing software update components for Galaxy S4. Please do not disconnect the cable. Battery low, recharge now. Mm -hmm. Where my, uh, it's, it wouldn't, uh, the process wouldn't proceed because my battery was low. So what I did was actually I just um, charged it up to 100% and then I redid the whole entire procedure again. And check this out. Everything is up to par now. Now what happens, it, it took me like 30 minutes for this to go through the entire process. And then once it was done, I unplugged it. And then it was updating all my apps and everything. Probably took another like 15 or 20 minutes. And finally when it got done, I went into my phone here. Uh, then went into more. Went into about device. And check this out. Now if I go into uh, status here. And I scroll all the way down to the very bottom. Now it says official before it said custom, right? Now also if I go back one more here. And before my Android version was 4.4.2. Uh, now it's 4.4.4. And when I go into software update, I no longer get that message anymore either. Check this out. 
it'll say that my uh, device is up to date now okay so again you know I didn't have to download um, you know Odin or the new fir firmware or anything like that uh, for me to be up to date on my software uh, software so just take note um, you know make sure you do want to back it up just in case if you lose anything I didn't lose anything I have everything still on my phone and now I'm up to the latest uh, software version and that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions or anything, just comment below. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.